Okay, I'm Gordon Waite, ready to start uh, rough grinding on this 11 inch plate glass mirror blank. The uh, final radius on this is going to be something between 94 and 96 inches, uh, so roughly 47 or 40 inch radius, or er, uh, focal length. I've pre generated this with a diamond tool. I uh, actually used a diamond, diamond saw blade in an angle grinder, did it by hand. It has a rough curve to it, and now we're going to start grinding. So I've centered this mirror blank on the turntable. So when the turntable is running, there's no run out on the edge. It doesn't wobble. You want to have it well centered, uh, probably do within a 32nd of an inch or better. Uh, I go ahead and center it until I really can't see any, any further wobble to it. Now I go ahead and put some uh, abrasive on here. And I just use, I'm going to start with number 40 because I have quite a little bit to get rid of here. So I uh, throw a little bit on. And then it has to be good and wet, so I use a spray bottle to get some water on there. Now we configure this for the fixed post grinding. I have this steel tool. This is a steel tool that's made out of steel nuts embedded in a dental plaster substrate. And uh, between the steel nuts I've used a diamond tool to route out channels in between the nuts and that uh, helps to allow the abrasive to distribute evenly. Now I've preset this machine so that uh, I have about one inch of overhang. This is a nine inch diameter tool on an 11 inch mirror. So if I put an inch of overhang I'll have about three inches on this side which is enough to feed abrasive in there. So I've got this overarm preset and I have a 5 8 inch uh, steel rod stainless steel rod that goes down through here posts into this metal socket on the back of the tool. Nothing holds it in there, it just drops down in. The socket is a little bit bigger in diameter than the plate. So that's the whole configuration. Now we turn this on and see how it works. Now at this point not much is happening because there's no weight on top of this tool. I've set this up like this just to make sure everything's in good shape. My, my uh, post is tight, my offset is right, it's spinning well, the hold downs on the mirror are good and tight, the mirror's not escaping or anything like that. So now if we actually want to get some work done here, we take the post back out. And now we add some weight on here. I'll start by adding a 25 pound weight. And might as well make it two. So we'll put 50 pounds of weight on there. Now, now here it's a little harsh. And throw the tool back on, the post down in there. Get that to go all the way down in. When you put the post down into the machine, you don't go all the way to the bottom of the socket. You don't want this uh, grinding post to bottom out in the socket. You take it down in, move it up, and then I have a collar on it here to make sure it can't go down any, any farther. So now it's all set to grind and with 50 pounds on there we'll actually get some grinding action. So I start out at a fairly low speed and when I see everything's working okay I'll ramp it up. than that grinding tool that's causing all the top rotation. So I'll just keep adding abrasive now and let this grind until I get it down to the uh, correct radius and smooth the surface out. Constantly because it wears down so fast. If it's not making a bad noise, it's not doing any grinding. 